love that. And come that on. Is so she is amazing. Is so Let fun. me just that continue. So As our next guest comes out, I'm going to brag about Erica Gunderson. <laughs> she is fabulous. She is talented. She is smart. Let me tell you, she could have entered in any category I and it. given it a clean sweep. She is incredible. <gasps> But there's a lot of incredible people here. Yes. So next is Outstanding Achievement for News Gathering. And this is near and dear to my heart, politics and government. Um, ah. We have a WTMJ reporter. So out of Milwaukee there, Jenna Ray, congratulations. So or um, also Lawrence Evans, photographer. Yes, we, all my photographers phot doing their job, actually. <laughs> they're, they're, look, at they're, they're, look at that. Look at that. shooting this, this interview right now, yes. <laughs> That is commitment to the A hundred percent. I love it. So this is a composite of several stories. Can you mm -hmm. share what you um, included in this entry that really resonated with the judges? Sure. So for the last year, uh, we've been exposing the conditions, the living conditions inside the housing authority. It's public housing in the city of Milwaukee. Residents have been um, reaching out to us um, and a local nonprofit group called Common Ground that has been working with them. They have cockroaches, bed bugs, black mold, um, deplorable living conditions that they've been dealing with. And we've been trying to get answers from the local government and from HUD, who is the federal government that is over the housing authority uh, for a year now. And uh, it's a composite of us trying to get answers and get these residents the desperate help that they need. I, I admit I don't live in Milwaukee. Haven't unfortunately had an opportunity to view this. Have have we seen it work? Has there been attention? Uh, cockroaches, bed bugs alleviated. There are lawsuits that have been filed, and so now uh, some of the units and housing complexes are having to clean up. The housing authority is actually having to hire people to come in and do some of this work. We've seen HUD make uh, several you know, times to come in and have to do, you know, corrective action plans and things like that. They're working with the federal government consistently, but we still don't have all of the answers that we need. It's an ongoing battle, um, something that we're still working on every single day. I'm one of our investigative reporters, um, and this has been a story, again, that we've been working on for the last year, and that is still going. That is so, I mean, inspiring and important. I feel like that's such a big part of what we do, obviously. You know, you get recognized for it today. And like you said, there's been work, but there's still more to be done. You know, what inspired you originally to want to put this together over a year? I mean, that's such a big, important issue. Mm -hmm. I think just in general, investigative reporting and holding people accountable is what we need to be doing, especially in this day of media. I think it's incredibly important to continue asking politicians and public officials for answers. I think that if we're paying tax dollars to these people, we should be holding them accountable. And for people who have tried to speak up, that have been sidestepped or can't do it themselves, I think we are the voice that they need to be able to get things done. A voice for the voice like this brings greater voice to it. Well, congratulations again. That is Jenna Ray of WTMJ, and this to me is really a, a, a big award. So congratulations. That's for news gathering in politics and government. And uh, people, keep people posted. We'll be watching. It was a pleasure. Thank you Thank so much. You. Nice, Thank to you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I love you. this dress, by the way, too. That is Thank incredible. Yes, you look lovely. All right, we're going to bring in the next awardee. I don't know who this is.